Well, let us know if you need anything else. Okay. Glad to help. You're welcome. Okay. Bye. You too. Good morning, Seaman Spradley. What can I do for you today? How long is it going to take to check out? I still have to get to PSD to get my tickets for a 1400 flight. If your room is ready, the process doesn't take very long. The first building manager gets here in an hour. I'll have him get to you first. <sighs> That's fine. Just wish I didn't have to drag this bag around base. If you like, you can leave your bag here behind the desk. We'll keep an eye on it for you. How do I know it'll be here when I get back? I've lost stuff in this place before. Do you have a luggage tag with your name and information on it? Yes, I do. Perfect. I can assure you it will be safe. If you want, you can grab some breakfast and then come back for the room inspection. How does that sound? Really? <laughs> That's great. Where do I stow it? I'll take it for you. Thanks. I hope you can straighten this out. Yesterday, when I came to check in, I assumed my friend and I would be able to room together. Then last night, you put someone else in my room. I see. It's just God, that we're... Typical Navy. Look, we were really counting on being able to room together. Well, while we're unable to promise room assignments, we do have another two-person room that's available. If you're willing to move when your friend comes to check in, I'll see if I can arrange for you two to share that room. But I just got unpacked. Why can't the other person move? I was there first. I know it's a hassle. However, if you really want a room together and you're willing to make the switch, I'll do all I can to help. That's a real pain. I'll think about it. Good morning, Miss Solomon. Good morning, John. How are you today? Unaccompanied housing, John Halbertson speaking. Oh, hey, hon. Oh, uh, how bad is it? Can you take Kevin with you? Yeah, uh, it's just that I don't get off here for another hour. No, I know. Is there uh, someone else who can watch Kevin? Yeah. I'll get there as soon as I get off the shift. Bye. Problem at home? Yeah, uh, Shana needs to get my daughter to the clinic and there's no one to get Kevin off to school. Morning, Petty Officer Covington. How can I help you? The carpet was all wet when I got up this morning. Apparently the fridge died. I got the mess cleaned up, but now I need a new fridge. I can put in a trouble call for you and have Public Works come by to fix it. It may not come by until tomorrow or the next day. Tomorrow? My food will be spoiled by then. Look, you tell all your little buddies to get off their butts and get it fixed today. I work all day, so can they. Can you wait just a moment, Petty Officer? My supervisor just came in. Let me check and see what I can do for you. Yeah. Okay, here's what we can do. My supervisor says we can take a refrigerator from another room and switch it for you sometime this morning. So you're just gonna let my food rot? I'll be at work then. We'll even move the food for you. Should be all set up when you get back later. Okay, but it better get done. And I better not lose anything. Hey, you've got more important things to take care of at home. Why don't you write your pass down for Sarah and leave? I'll cover the desk until she checks in for her shift. Yeah? Yeah. Thanks, Miss Solomon. You're welcome. Appreciate it. See you tomorrow. Good morning. <laughs>